Why should you invest in real estate property? And madami naman investments, maraming choices such as stocks, bonds, P-bills, ang dami-daming pwedeng pag-invest at bakit real estate? Welcome to my channel. My name is Casey Reyes, your real estate princess, and this is Real Talk with Casey. And today we will be talking about the seven tips or seven reasons on why you should invest in real estate. Before we move any further, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you get notified in our future videos soon. Here in this channel, we talk about real estate, life, career, business, and most especially, faith. And in this specific video, I'd like to share some reasons on why I got into the business of real estate. And not just into the business of real estate, but into the science and art of real estate investing. So, alam ko, excited ka na, hindi ko na patatagalin ito. The first reason as to why you should invest in real estate is that it is a scarce commodity. Well, as we know, land is finite. But the population indefinitely goes up. Right now, the whole world is around 7.67 billion in town. And here in the Philippines alone, we are already at 108.1 million as of 2019. So we can see the trend. It has already been going up and it will it will definitely go up over the next few years and decades or so. So as the demand and as the population increases, your supply becomes steady or it probably increases of course as developers develop the properties and develop the lands, raw lands in the whole world. But as we can see, it's still finite in such a way that the supply finds it hard to catch up with the demand and so the prices will definitely and definitely go up. So that's the first reason why you should invest in real estate because it is a scarce commodity. Second reason as to why you should invest in real estate is that it is a basic need. This is a no-brainer because you've probably heard of the term from womb to tomb. From womb to tomb. So, ibig sabihin, kakapanganak mo pala in the hospital, that is already real estate. And you grow up, and your parents rear you to be the best person that you can ever possibly be. You live in a home, and that is real estate. And then you go to school, that is real estate. And then you graduate and eventually work for a big company in a big city. And you, live, and you work for a headquarter of a certain company, and that is real estate. That is an office building. And then later on, you get married to the church. In the church, I mean, that is still real estate. And then later on, diba, as you grow up, you know, ganon. it's a cycle, it's a circle of life. And until the tomb, which is the cemetery, that is still real estate. So you can see everything begins and ends with real estate. Number three is appreciation. Indeed, land appreciates over time. Yung kagandahan ng real estate, when you buy the right property, matulog ka lang, and it will increase over time. It builds capital appreciation. And this is actually the reason why the wealthiest and the richest people in the whole world invest and build their wealth through real estate. And this is actually evidenced by local examples such as SMDC, ang C family, di ba? Ang Vista Mall by the Villars. The Double Dragon, which is originally from Mang Inasal and Jollibee's companies. And the Mega World, which was actually before San Wayla. And they actually um, expanded to different companies. And this actually increased their portfolios 
so high, so huge, and it multiplied because of Mega World, their real estate side of the business. And so it's not an accident that these wealthiest people in the Philippines invested in real estate. So why shouldn't you, right? Why? What is stopping you? This is actually a sign on why you should invest on your own real estate property and build your wealth through real estate. Number four reason as to why you should invest in real estate is leverage. So meaning, say for example, you want to buy 1 million worth of shares of stocks. Meaning you should spend, you should be able to shell out 1 million pesos worth of pesos in order to get that 1 million pesos worth of stocks. Pero when you invest in a real estate property, say for example, 1 million worth of land, in an exclusive subdivision. That's just actually a theoretical example. Of course, you cannot buy 1 million worth of land in a subdivision. But, say for example, you buy that land, you can actually just pay 200,000, 400,000, that's 20 to 40% down payment, and you already earn or gain the right to be the owner of that property, even if you haven't paid it in full just yet. Even if the bank pays for the remaining balance and you pay off the bank later on, well, of course, monthly amortization plus interest. So that's the power of leverage. Number five reason is it is a hedge against inflation. Last year, inflation rate here in the Philippines was around 2.5%. And that is even during the pandemic. So meaning prices of goods and services services constantly go up and what's good about this is that as the prices of services and goods go up still the prices of real estate go up even higher and i have seen this in my own personal practice even during the pandemic you see the prices here in pampanga well that's because of the promise of the build 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 program and a lot more demand and investors coming along the way here in Pampanga. Now we attract more people to invest and when demand goes up, as we said earlier, the prices will of course go up. I have seen over the course of the pandemic around 15 to 20 percent relative increase in the values of real estate property. Number six reason is passive income. As Robert Kiyosaki says, don't work for money. Let money work for you. So if you are in this stage already, I hope we can all reach that stage, of course, wherein you can already build your commercial building or perhaps kahit magsimula ka lang sa apartment and paupahan mo siya. So money works for you. Money just comes in every single month. You collect that money, of course. And that is actually a great way for you to build your retirement money or retirement fund. Number seven reason as to why you should invest in real estate is that you build equity and wealth. Equity and wealth. So nabanggit nga natin, di ba? Yung mga high income earners or the wealthiest and richest men in the whole Philippines. The families that have built wealth through real estate. And one more evidence in this is that when you save up in the bank, you just earn around 0.125% annually. But when you invest in real estate, you will invest or you will earn around the 15 to 20% and even higher given the right location. So guys, these are the seven reasons as to why you should invest in real estate. So those are the top seven reasons as to why you should invest in real estate. Guys, since I was 22 years old, I invest in real estate property. And never, ever, ever ako nagsisi. Because I've seen it over the, the, fa the past few years. And it's not just tall tales or stories from other people. But I thank God that I got this inspiration and in modeling from my parents. Wherein they really invested in real estate property. And that significantly helped them to build to their well through their hard-earned money so yung mga pinagpaguran mo hindi siya nasasaya and of course my best tip for you is to really study about real estate if this is something that you want go on watch blogs such as this 
I mean, you can find other resources also and you can find books which will help you educate you more about real estate and of course, apply it into action. When you do apply it, wala. <laughs> hindi siya mag appreciate or hindi magmumultiply ang pera mo. So thank you guys. This has been Real Talks with Casey. I enjoyed chatting with you and sharing a few wisdom which I got from experience. So if you learned a thing or two, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell down below so that you get notified in our future videos. Maraming maraming salamat po and God bless you.